from Cape Canaveral in Florida. This is Atlas Launch Control at T minus two hours and holding. We're now just two and a half hours away from the liftoff of NASA's Tetris K tracking and data relay satellite. Launches atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral. The launch window today extends from 8.48 to 9.28 p.m. The launch window tonight is 40 minutes in duration. This will be the 35th Atlas V rocket to be launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The Tedris K tracking and data relay satellite will relay voice, data, and telemetry communications between spacecraft in Earth orbit and ground controllers. This includes the International Space Station, the Hubble Space Telescope, and scientific satellites. Even the Atlas rocket being launched tonight with Tedris K will be tracked using the Tedris system in orbit, taking over from the ground tracking stations of the Eastern Range beginning about six and a half minutes into the flight. Ten tracking and data relay satellites have been launched since the first one launched on the Space Shuttle on April 4, 1983, almost exactly 30 years ago. The Tedris system allows almost constant space communication. Because of the reliability and longevity of the system, Tetris K is the first one to be launched by NASA that the agency has needed since 2002, over 10 years ago. The spacecraft was built for NASA by Boeing Space Systems. So at this time, we're awaiting our poll from the NASA launch director, Tim Dunn, of the NASA team, and that will be followed by the poll of the Atlas team to begin tanking of the Atlas V rocket with cryogenic propellants. At T minus two hours and holding with six minutes remaining this plan built and hold, this is Atlas Launch Control.